Hello, welcome back. In this video, it says how to master double rise trap. And you might be thinking, how is he going to teach us to master double rise? Well, I'm going to use a technique that I used when I was a school principal most of my working life. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you the principle we used at school to help people to master things. So let's get on with it. How to master double rise trap. In double rise trap, the gun hold is where your first target is going to come out. And so from station one, we know that the targets always come out in the same position. So on station one, we're going to shoot right to left. So our gun hold is going to be about there in the flight path of our first target. So we shoot our first target, focus on the second and shoot it. On station two, our gun hold is going to be almost the same as station one, just a little bit to the right, in line with the flight path. That's our straightaway. We shoot that target, focus, and once we focused, we shoot the second one. On station three, I'm a right-handed shooter, so I still shoot the right one and then the left one, but that's personal preference on station three. So on station three, there we know it's going to come out there, so on station three, our gun hold is there, in the flight path of where we're going to shoot the bird. So we shoot it, refocus, and we shoot that one. On station four and five, we shoot left to right. And so on station four, we know that's the one, that's our straightaway. So our gun hold is going to be about there, and we shoot that one, focus, shoot the second one. On station five, our gun hold is going to be about there, so almost the same place. And we shoot the first, focus, and we take the second. So right to left, right to left. I shoot right to left, but that's the person's preference. Four and five is left to right. When on your station, watch the targets of the other person. If you're on station three waiting for your shot, watch these targets coming out from station one and two because you're going to know exactly where your gun hold is going to be. So watch the targets of the people before you who are going to shoot. If you're the first person to shoot, you always get a target to look at. So even if you're first, you get a target to look at and then you know where your gun hold is has got to to be and so in double rise the important thing is that these two clays always come out in the same place so we think of it as two single targets if we can nail a hundred percent of our first shot and then we only nail 70 percent of our second shot well, we still shot an 80%, which is a 20 out of 25, which is a respectable score. But we want to do more than that because the video says how to master double rise. Well, how do we master double rise? Well, we do it with practice. And so at school, as I said at the start of the video, we taught the kids that to learn something and to master it, you've got to repeat it to the point of overlearning. So it's repetition and overlearning to the point of mastery. So it's no good going to practice, saying, okay, I want to improve my double rise ability. And it's no good shooting one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Then you go back to one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Nothing sticks. And we want to develop muscle memory. So what do we do? Repetition and overlearning to the point of mastery. Well, this is what we do. We need 10 boxes of cartridges. Yes, a whole slab. And you're going to say, this guy's crazy. 
but repetition and overlearning to the point of mastery works. And so, at practice, you've got to get out on a trap on your own. And you you can try and arrange that with the gun club, especially if you go at a time when it's not so busy and there's not so many shooters. So what do we do? Well, we shoot 25 targets from station one. Yes, 25 targets without moving stations. We go boom, 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 boom. And we practice it. Repetition and overlearning to the point of mastery. So we do that 25 targets. 25. Then we move to station two and we shoot another two boxes. Then we move to station three and we shoot another two boxes. Then four. And then five. So we've shot five lots of 50 cartridges, 250 cartridges. So is shooting a whole slab of cartridges worth it? If we just practice one, 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 we're just going to practice our bad habits. But 25 on station one will develop muscle memory. And it's two, three, four, and five. So give it a try. I hope that was useful. And remember, repetition and overlearning to the point of mastery. Stay well, happy shooting, and I'll see you next time.